honestly didn't have a lot of hope for the Pierhead Arcade. We already have Carnival Games and its DLC, giving us pretty much all of the awesome Midway entertainment we could ask for. But where Carnival Games is often goofy and over the top, the Pierhead Arcade is a much more realistic outing with classic coin-operated machines. And surprisingly, I can't get enough. After spending the last 24 hours dropping in and out of my new Pierhead Arcade, you'd probably expect that one of these games would be my favorite, but there's no way I could choose. At any point, you could have found me obsessively playing each and every one, experimenting with different strategies, trying to best my high score. All of these games have their own addictive qualities, and seeing my friends' high scores on the online leaderboards made me say one more game more times than I can count. Seraphim, Dave Station, Troy Powell, Dr. Doom, I'm coming for each and every one of you. That said, my only real complaint is that I'm here all by myself. There's no multiplayer of any kind, and playing these games alone, while fun, can get extremely lonely. While the entirety of Pierhead occupies only one giant room, it looks fantastic with some really crisp visuals. Looping music and the sound of crowds litter the background, but it all fades away when you're focused on achieving your next high score. A lot of the games require a delicate touch, and luckily the move controllers are more than up to the task, featuring a rewarding buzz when collecting your pile of newly won tickets. And trading those hard-earned tickets in for prizes might be the best reward of all, especially since you can actually drive the little RC cars, fly the drones, and light things on fire. I've already spent countless hours and countless tokens at this arcade. I'm easily in for over a hundred virtual dollars, so 15 real dollars for 15 games means I've already gotten my money's worth, many times over. You don't need to choose between this and Carnival Games, because they're both excellent titles. But personally, the Pierhead Arcade is where I'll be spending most of my nights for the foreseeable future.